Right, hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, you probably could tell by the thumbnail, I'm asking a question. Is the OEX Evolution 350 a woman's sleeping bag? Now, I'm asking that because of this. I'll just move over a little bit. Can you see this comment what someone left on my Facebook group? So, because it's a 350, not a three seasons or a four seasons sleeping bag, the person, you know, said is it a woman's sleeping bag and because it's purple. And as you can rudely see at the bottom, he said he don't think I could even fit in it myself. Well, yeah, you're right about that, mate, because I can't fit in it. Now, the size of it, I'm just going to show you all and then you can make your own decision up. So, the overall size is 205 by 72 centimetres. It weighs 984 grams. Now the comfort range is five degrees. The limit is zero, extreme minus 15. I very much doubt that. Minus 15. Double layered fiber filled. I still don't think that'll get you down to minus 15. So what is your thoughts? Do you, are you one of these people who think, you know what, yeah, it is a purple sleeping bag. Yeah, it's not very wide, so they're going to give it down to a slim lady, you know, who camps out in it. Now, if you're a very slim person, like a fella, for instance, I think this mummy sleeping bag might still be for you. Are you a person that's bothered because it's purple? You know what? That's a question, isn't it? With it being purple, would that put you off from buying it for yourself? Put your comments in below and don't be shy. If it's yeah, it put you off. If it's no, you're not bothered. You know, either of them, do comment and let me know, because I'm, I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing people's, you know, reply about that. Does the colour put you off? I can't use it, because I can't fit in it, you know. I, well, I can fit in it, but I'm really snugged up. I don't like that. I need the bigger ones, you know, to move around a little bit in it. Now, it's got that lovely silk feeling. Most the OEX Evolution range ones are quite silky. And inside is nice and silky as well I sound a bit girly saying that don't I right what I'll do is I'll set this up and I'll bring you back and show you a little bit more about it right so you can see there there's not a lot of room but remember it's only 72 centimeters across this is why I do a I probably do agree but it would be a slim lady sleeping bag just because you know it's not very wide I can't really imagine a man you know wanting to sleep in it with being so so short if you know what I mean so it's got the typical zip stopper part there from OEX, the big Velcro. On the 900 sleeping bag, they've changed that to like an, uh, a circle. I'll link that to the end of the video actually so you can see that one big thick winter sleeping bag. So zips all the way down. And like on the other sleeping bags, we've got this rip uh, zip protector there so it doesn't snag the sleeping bag here. All OEX sleeping bags seem to have that on now. Like I say, when you're zipping it up, it don't get, you know, sleep bag don't get caught in it. So it's nice and silky inside. And it's another way, another one of theirs where it don't have the neck collar either. I like that. It's got the little pocket here for you. So you can keep probably your mobile phone in it or a power bank. If you're going to be using your mobile phone for at night. And it does have this pull cord thing here. Zips all the way down. And you can easily just zip it back up. Look at that, because it just does not get caught in the sleeping bag itself. Now, yeah, you can do it. You can have it just so your face is sticking out. I'm not too keen on them like that myself. But you can see the colour. It's purple. It's uh, silverly grey. And the stitching's all purple, because they're... You got your logo, your head part of it, the head hood. Yeah, it's got extra padding. I think all sleeping bags have that now. And at the bottom as well, that's nicely padded out for you. So overall, you know what? Right, so there's not a lot I can show you, but you know, it's a sleeping bag. You know what? I'm gonna pull myself around, I'm gonna be honest. I do think it's a lady's sleeping bag, but a slim lady's, you know what I mean? If you're a, you know, a medium-sized woman, 
I wouldn't suggest you go buy this one. <laughs> I'm not being rude, Rob, but you know, we've got to be realistic, haven't we? It's a slim lady's sleeping bag. Now, mummy sleeping bag, like I've already said, it's 984 grams, uh, 205 by 72 centimetres, comfort 5, limit 0, extreme 15, minus 15. I doubt that, I've already said that. But you know what? This is where you have to sort of help me out in the comments. Would you say, English Woodsman, it's a lady's sleeping bag, let's just admit it. <laughs> you know, help me out, comment below, let me know. Remember, it's a 350 one. So, I don't know why I just said that. I just seen it so far, I'll tell you about it. Yeah, so, is it a lady's sleeping bag and would you be put off by the colour? using it for yourself. Answer that if you're a fella. But yeah, I'm sort of going with the idea it is a lady's sleeping bag. I don't know if it's the colour or the sizes. I'm going to probably say with the colour and the size. But you know what? It's not even my sleeping bag anyway. It's my daughter's sleeping bag. She loves it. She camps in garden every night. Right, so you've probably seen here some more videos pop up. My wild camping one there. Uh, and this is the... 900 sleeping bag from OEX winter sleeping bag watch that and you'll be amazed how thick that sleeping bag is i'm gonna get off thank you for watching and do comment below and let me know your thoughts